Hi, my name is Warner and I'll be your chemistry tutor for this problem. Let's start off by reading the problem and focusing on the key aspects of it. Calculate the position of the maximum in the radial distribution function for a lithium ion in its ground state using the wave function where Z is the nuclear charge. So what do we really mean by the lithium ion being in its ground state? We're basically talking about a hydrogenic atom. What is it? So it's basically an atom with one electron or with some general atomic number Z. So various examples of it, of it could be hydrogen itself, helium ion, lithium ion, an oxygen ion, or even uranium ion. All depends that there's only going to be one electron left. And this electron is just going to occupy the 1s orbital. So when, when so when we when we think of an 1s orbital, we immediately think of a sphere. And the probability of finding um, an electron is going to be dependent on finding it within the volume of this certain sphere. And there's a I believe a 90% um, average of finding an electron within this certain sphere. The other 10% it could be literally anywhere. So when we're trying to describe or or kind of conceptualize where this election could be, we could use a thing called a wave function. Wave functions allow us to describe how or where you know the electron occupies the orbital. And there are various ways we can we can um, describe the wave function. We could use a thing called probability density, which is another another way of saying like. Um, the function that's already given, the radial distribution function. So probability density, radial distribution function are kind of synonymous. And they're, they can be interchangeable. So right now we're considering an orbital with a ground state of n equals one. It's gonna be spherically symmetrical. There's gonna be a certain energy and localization in the 1s orbital where we would expect the electron to be present at. So Another thing that's characteristic of radial distribution functions is that there's going to be a kinetic energy associated with finding an, an electron. So it's going to have a certain peak at some point. So that so those are the concepts that are going to be necessary in solving this problem. So we need to write down the radial distribution function. As we said earlier, it's the same thing as a probability density function. So we just said it PR is equal to whatever it's given. So we're trying to find um, the extrema, the extrema where the, the function itself is going to reach a certain maxima. So we do that by differentiating with respect to r. So we realize these are only constants, and the r is present in as a power of um, e. So we differentiate. Um, this part, which is going to be negative z over a to zero, and bring it to the constants here outside. And this is what we did here. So we said, and we we multiplied it out, and we see that c efficiency squared over these constants times e to the power of z times r over Bohr's radius is is just this. So we tr or we need to understand what the z efficiency is, as we talked about earlier. Um, it's just going to be in in the one s orbital, or we can we can quantify it with numbers here. So we realize lithium has an atomic number of three, and its charge is two plus. So we subtract the atomic number with its charge number, minus two is going to be equal to one. So we substitute it into the zf, into this expression, and, and we just come up come down to one over some sort of constants times e to to the nuclear charge times r over a to zero. To find the extrema, we just simply set this expression equal to zero. So it's an important thing to note, um, e to the minus r, we're just gonna put the x-axis as r. So as r um, goes to infinity, this expression um, nears zero, as we see here. So in other words, when we set r equal to zero, 
we obtain a certain maxima because what we're left with is this. So this is our maximum, just this. So when r is equal to zero, we're basically just at the nucleus and we obtain some, so some form of um, maxima here. So the final wave function, we could write it as this, where this is gonna be the, the, the max only when r is equal to zero. So the maximum radial distribution function for lithium occurs at the nucleus when or when r is equal to zero. So we see in this graph, it summarizes um, the kind of um, energy distribution for for 1s orbitals, or orbitals are similar to this. So when r is equal to zero, the max exists here. And this is what the function is um, describing. So in summary, whenever you see ground state, you have to think about hydrogen in the 1s orbital and the characteristics of a, what is a 1s orbital. Um, we write down the distribution function and we differentiate respect to r, set it equal to zero and find the extrema. So if let's say r is equal to zero, we realize that the constant times whatever e is, is just gonna be the constant as the maximum. Zf is gonna be at ground state. So when it's at ground state, it's just gonna be equal to one. That's the most important thing in this problem. We substitute whatever extrema into the wave function and determine the max value. And the position of the maximum at a ground state will always be at the nucleus or when r is equal to zero. So this is a characteristic of, um, of, of different um, atoms at ground state. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, feel free to send any questions if anything remains unclear. I'll see you later.